a few videos back we announced that we were gonna take some pine logs and make a lean-to back here and uh, I used the axe and did my best to get the bark off of it because if you leave the bark on pine um, one you invite the beetles and two it uh, starts to rot and by getting the bark off of it it increases the longevity of it and i think i'm going to burn the ends that touch the ground anyway um, but the accident works so i ordered one of these this is a draw knife bark knife um i don't know but i'm going to try it out and just see how it works and uh I'll shoot a video of it, I guess. I gotta roll the log around, put it in there to hold it, and then I'm gonna straddle it and see how good this gets the bark off. benefiting ALS United Ohio. It's uh, in honor of the memory of uh, Nancy Edeljohn, who uh, passed away from ALS in 2020. It's at the El Coyote Restaurant in Anderson Township. I like that. There's an 18 hole course, wedges and nine hour, nine hour irons only. Wiffle golf balls are being provided, so don't bring any regular ones. And uh, donation $25 for adults, 20 for teens. For more information or request a tea time, 513. 377-8350 Well, this week's been pretty eventful. Um, not a whole lot got done on the building, but a uh, struggle bus showed up and I jumped on it. Um, I'll show you what happened. I'll flip this around here. 
So you'll notice all these uh, timbers here. Nice looking pressure treated lumber, beautiful. I mean, it looks amazing. The problem with that is, these are the beams for the inside the barn. These are the ones that you see that hold up the roof and hold the skeleton together. And I mean, they're very beautiful items. And uh, last week they got delivered. While I was on site talking with the contractor about different things and I happened to notice them and I said what's that for and they said those are your beams well our beams are supposed to be made out of white oak <laughs> and we think we don't know but somewhere between the cut list with the original contractor getting sent out for bids someone at the lumber supply place switched it to pressure treat i didn't catch it our current contractor didn't catch it and the order was placed for pressure treated beams the initial idea was to put the pressure treated in place and then us just wrap it with uh, white oak siding. Didn't go for that. Two things. Uh, the pressure treat wasn't dry, obviously. And what little bit of drying it could get done in there would probably stain the white oak. So, in a mad dash to try to find the quality lumber um, in, in a place, there ain't nothing but trees. This. this area is tree poor um they found them um the siding and everything it's been cut it's it's ready to go up i think it's pretty close to done um but uh they got them cut they got the beams cut they got them drying right now and the second idea was we'll put the pressure treated up as a frame and then when the white oak's ready, we'll just take beam out at a time and put the white oak in. I didn't go for that idea either. <laughs> um, and upon some reflection and finding out, you know, different things that we had to look into that with, uh, that's not going to work. So this week we had to pump the brakes. Uh, the white oak should be here next week. Um, and then the skeleton is going to start going up. And once those beams go into place, it's probably going to go really fast. Um, because all the material is sitting here stacked, ready to go. Um, I, I, uh, I oftentimes try not to put the negative stuff on his channel because... I mean, there's enough channels out there where it's nothing but negativity. And... Um, I reached out to a friend of mine and said something about it and said, you know, I try to keep the negative stuff off. And they reminded me that there are people who watch this channel who may or may not be thinking about building um, a structure like this. And they need to know the struggle. Um, not really to dwell on it, but just to pass it along. Um, there have been quite a few things that came up. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we almost pulled the trigger in 2020 and I am so glad we didn't <laughs> because one, the vision we had at that time wasn't uh, what it is today. And we were gonna just put up a what's called a Ramada, which is basically, a, I think it was gonna be a, a 80 by 120 or something. It's like a pole barn with no walls. All the structures there, the roofs on it we were going to have bathrooms in one end and a storage thing and like a fireplace thing and people could get married where they're going to get married today but the receptions would be outside and there's a few venues around here like that and they are struggling i mean struggling with the the season because i mean here it gets warm and when it gets that warm 
people don't want it, the shade, don't do it. You know what I mean? You really got to have air conditioning. And uh, um, Ginger just said, you know, let's don't half donkey it. Let's whole donkey it. So that's where we started looking into uh, getting the plans. Thank God for Jessica and Darren. We got to go to Texas. Uh, that's a few videos back. We went to Texas and actually looked at a structure that we're copying, except for some changes that we made. Um, but that place is beautiful, and we're hoping that this place is close to it. Um, if not surpass it, I don't know how we could, but we're, that's our goal. Um, we really are trying to do the best quality we can. Um, obviously, you can throw enough money at something, and it'll be a lot better, but we don't have the... The means to do that and the white oaks coming i mean the beams will be here it did set us back a little bit however you know full disclosure we're, we're several weeks ahead so it didn't really hurt us that bad uh, we've been blessed with the weather as you can tell it's uh it's a little windy here but i think up north it's 40 degrees and raining or whatever and had tornadoes a couple days ago or something and but here it's like you know spring rolling into summer up north and for them they're, i was talking to a lady today she was freezing <laughs> it's like 65 degrees so um i, I do want to keep it positive honestly the contractors that we got rolled with the punches um, i'm not going to say we didn't have some bonding and some you know conversations um but we worked through it. Stuff's coming. We'll work out the details later, I guess. Um, hats off to Gunnels. They're, the problem arose. Everybody threw a shoulder into it. And granted, all the oars were on one side of the boat for a little while. But once we came up with a plan and found a supplier, they got it done. So if you're looking to build anything i don't care what it is or you're getting your land cleared or whatever gunnels is the place to be i mean they're like everybody else they're they do their best and they take pride in what they do so that being said we we do have beams coming it is going to happen it's not um it's not not going to happen obviously but um instead of us uh, the deadline is the end of August. Like, I think we get, I get handed the building in August to paint, do the finishing work, uh, trim, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of cleaning, I'm sure, but we're pretty stoked about that. Um, the roof has been, the roof guy was here. He'll be back in a couple of weeks once the soffits go on. Uh, speaking of the soffits, uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, they were worried about putting a six inch gutter on this this long a roof and it's got, got, got quite a bit of fall. Um, it's got a ton of square footage that dumps into these gutters. And he said, do you think a six inch gutter would look bad? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, uh, he said, I don't want the gutter to stand out, you know, it'd be ridiculously big. And I said, well, I'm pretty sure the soffit's good size. I can't remember if it's either 10 or 12 inches. He's like, I don't think it is. And we looked, it's a two by 12, <laughs> 12 inch oak. Um, like fascia board all the way down the side of it so it, it won't be seen i mean you'll see it but it won't it won't overtake it um but anyway uh the struggle was real a few days ago um some sleep was lost i'm sure by all the parties involved our builder he stepped up to the plate he'll have more people here when the time comes for it to get here so we could probably get back close to on the pace we were running before you know god willing and the creek don't rise is a famous saying in my family um but it, it's coming together it really is it's beautiful um it's it's beyond what i had ever hoped for or imagined and what the team we got the uh, general contractor the builder all the, all the people involved um the things that are said the things that they do they just add to it. They they have the same drive and um, they're starting to get the same vision we've all had. 
and it's it's just becoming a thing where um like we're all pulling all the all the the uh oars aren't on the same side of the boat anymore and i, I honestly i can't say enough about how happy i am to have the struggle because honestly when we gets figured out and this all gets done five years from now i'm not going to remember this that's why i'm making this video i'm not going to remember the headaches and the troubles and the what i will remember is the people who got married here the lives that got changed and the part of our community um that we were able to uh i don't know how you say it not help but just be a part of their lives so this this video don't have a whole lot to show um just wanted to throw that piece on there about how happy i am with everyone who's involved with this and so very thankful that everybody stepped up we all worked together and we came up with a plan in just a few days um when the when the problem first exists like all the problems we've had over the years it seems like months to get something done it literally took hours so um i will end this with the uh, with a positive thought of my gratitude and thanks to our general contractor our builder mike stanley um the guy who came up just came up with some trees to to give you some idea of how difficult that was, I would recommend you pick up a phone, find somebody who does lumber and say, hey, can I get a 24 foot beam made out of white oak that's ready to go? And, and just see how that goes for you. So anyway, uh, I, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out our videos. Um, if all the people who watch our videos would like and subscribe, um, that would be huge. It really would. And I am very grateful for everything, especially you as a viewer. So hope you had a great week and thanks for checking on ours.